Hey there. <clears throat> hello, hello. Waiting for some other folks to join. We're running a, hey, Toxic. How are you? Hey, y'all, thank you so much. I see a lot of you are all coming in. I'm running a little bit behind today, a little bit back to back, which is the story of Janine's in my life. Hey, Black Collectors Gallery, uh, Angeles, uh, here we go. All right, I'm getting Janine in now. Hello to Africa. Psalms 85, I think I just let Janine should be in a second. Here we go. Hey. Hello. Long time no speak. <laughs> uh, someone just asked, where is the exhibition going next? That was a great question, because that's, uh, that's actually why we wanted to get on uh, to chat with you about uh, that. Um, all right. So um, I'm Lisanne Basquiat. And I'm uh, Janine Haravo. And uh, we are uh, the administrators of uh, the Jean-Michel Basquiat estate. We're his sisters. And uh, as most of you know, we also um, have been working for a couple of years on the Jean-Michel Basquiat King Pleasure uh, exhibition that's currently in Los Angeles. Um, and so while we're having this conversation, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the chat and we'll answer a few uh, at the end. This is going to be a relatively short um, live. Uh, we just wanted to get on and talk a little bit about this experience. The, um, the answer to the question about the next stop is that there will not be a next stop. Um, this is it. And uh, we're not going to Montreal. We're not going to Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to Canada. Uh, I'm just kind of reading all the, the things in here. We are um, uh, getting down to the end of this. And I think at this point, Shannon, we have what, like seven weeks or six weeks or something? Something like that. I think it's about six weeks. Um... Yeah, you know, Lisan and I have been at this um, for, it seems like almost four years now at this point. And, um, you know, we are doing this in addition to managing the estate as well as, you know, Lisan has other businesses. And so we just made a little bit of a break, um, uh, you know, for a bit until we kind of just uh, get an understanding of what it is we want to do next. So King Pleasure is stopping here. Um, LA, this is your last chance to get there. We are closing on January 1st. There will be no extensions um, after at this point. So we just really wanted to make sure that everyone had an opportunity. Um, it's a unique opportunity. Uh, Lisan and I put our all into it, um, a lot of love. A lot of, um, you know, we it was a cathartic experience, but we really gave our all, and we hope that you'll be able to come uh, and so that we can share it with you. Um, so yeah, uh, we also wanted to. Um, what else are we looking to share? Yeah, I Let's think talk about the it's really, it's yeah, it's really just um, again. This is we're coming down to the last, you know, few weeks. And uh, this has been a huge, you know, it's, it's required a lot of energy and attention and we've learned so much through this experience. And it's been, you know, a huge investment of time and energy, not just for Janine and I, but also for our family, you know, because as a family, you can't do something that takes this much time and energy without also impacting the rest of your family and the rest of your life. And so for our family, our collective family, uh, it has been a huge thing. And so one of the things that we wanted to do, uh, because, you know, I keep switching glasses because I can't, I don't know which one's gonna work. Uh, you know, we wanted to share with all of you, we've been so busy in it, in the trenches of it, that we um, 
haven't really taken a lot of time to share with all of you who are constantly like sending us DMs and emails and chatting with us on the floor, you know, at the exhibition and, and at other things, we haven't shared a whole lot about this journey with all of you. So we felt that it would be in the best interest of all of us who appreciate Jean-Michel as much as we do, that it would be in the best interest of all of us for Janine and I to take a moment to, uh, you know, to kind of share as we wrap this thing up, um, you know, what this experience has been like, what we've learned, you know, that's like a whole thing. So obviously we can't share all of it in just a few minutes, uh, but we did want to uh, share a little bit about what this journey has been like uh, for those folks who are interested in that. And, um, and, you know, and also just between Janine and I even to talk a little bit about what this, uh, uh, what are observations and learnings we've had from this experience. You know exactly so um from my perspective you know it's been such an honor <clears throat> to be able to connect to the amount of people that we've connected with um you know we've we've uh, met up with people of uh, different walks people that we might not have otherwise um you know met and um and connected with um so many people that when we've had events that we've participated in and you know a lot of the events that we've thrown lisan and i have been there um you know we didn't just throw events and 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 had people show up you know we were there and we engaged with the people that were there who who, who came out to the parties and to our talks to our hip-hop event um it was really great to be able to um, not only hear from his fans and those who really appreciate um, the gift that he has brought to, um, to us, but also to build a family, um, family being all the talent that, um, that existed in not only our New York show, but in our LA show, our staff, our security people, um, you know, uh, everyone has been phenomenal in this journey with us. The, the people who created the, uh, the walls and, you know, who worked on um, the installation, everyone has been a joy to deal with. And it was um, a, a huge endeavor to take on so many people and um you know so many teams but it really um was important to us that we um had such a, a, a great team and we are very grateful to them for the contri the contribution to that that they made to this ex exhibition excuse yeah. me Absolutely. And I just saw someone uh, make a comment about Finn uh, and, and referring to how influential Jean-Michel is. I mean, we all know and see that, how this man, our brother, has influenced popular culture in the way that he has and in the ways that he has um, also influenced creatives. You know, I was talking to a friend yesterday evening about um, the person asked like what my thoughts were about people who, um, about the works that are out there today uh, by other artists. And I shared with that person that in the beginning, because I'm his sister, you know, and I think, I think you and I, you know, we shared that and I know, you know, Papa, our father did too, where we were just like, what are you copying off of our brother for? And then, you know, what I, you know, what I've, come and evolved to understand is that for most for the most part you know that is really a such a, an incredible com uh, uh, compliment to Jean-Michel that people would as they themselves are creating that they would have a piece of Jean-Michel in there and that they would share how inspired they've been by him um, and and that feels for us as a family, it is, it's hard to describe what this experience, you know, feels like um, and how we're, we ourselves are impacted by it. And I think that that's part of, like, once this is done, that's going to be part of my processing is, you know, like you're in something every day, you're working on it every single day. 
and you know we're writing a catalog we wrote a catalog and you know we're doing all this with the exhibition and, and what i'm really looking forward to is taking a moment to kind of really sit and process and um and reflect on what this has been like for you and i shani mm -hmm. who you know after you know jean michel passed away and mommy and papa and you know and you and i running this estate for the last 10 years and doing the best we can uh, and doing our all, giving it our all. And then also um, we're not curators. We don't have that experience. You know, we have the experience of being Jean-Michel's sisters and managing his estate, but just the experience of you and I getting together and making a, the decision that, okay, we're gonna show his work and we're gonna curate, you know, uh, this experience has been, um, you know, it, it's been kind of a new layer of experience for you and I as sisters mm -hmm. and as uh, as business partners and um, and the way that people have responded to it has uh, been really heartwarming, overwhelming. Yes, um, I would also say um, our you know the fact that we were able to connect and uh, connect with school groups and you know making a connection with a organization that connected um title one school groups with us that we were able to bring through um for free uh, mm -hmm. uh we had free art nights um on thursday evenings where you would sign up and people can come in and see the exhibition for not free on had, had. we still have had. Not Sorry. yes um <laughs> you know, in, in terms of, yeah so in terms of um accessibility and allowing people to come see it if they um you know did not have the means or the opportunity uh we are proud that we were able to provide that to um to, to people and to school groups um and that will continue until we close on january 1st um i think also um what's been really kind of talking a little bit about some of the highlights uh for me one of the highlights has been the families and the people, like not the conversation, the public conversations, but the more personal conversations that people have had with us right there in the exhibition during the times that we've popped in and out, where someone would come over and say, you know, I brought my family through, or I better understand my child who's an artist and a creative, or creatives who have come through and immediately wanted to, told us that they're like, you know, I'm going home to paint. Or I'm going to my studio to paint or to write or to, you know, uh, create music or whatever it was. I think that that has been one of the highlights because it is what we wanted, which was to, to, to inspire people and to bring families together around the experience of, um, of, of family. Mm -hmm. So for me, I th think that has been the most, you know, one of the, one of the myriad highlights for me. Would have been like what's your highlight moment hmm um a specific one i mean there's been there've been a lot I, I i can't say there's a specific one there have been quite a few panels we've had a, a number of panels um in la and there were certain moments when um you know we opened up uh, the floor for questions and there were particular questions that um, the audience asked or particular moments where we connected with um, someone that was in that audience or we connected with someone that was on the panel. Um, the opportunity to be able to bring our children into this, um, you know, this project with us and their, you know, little contribution, whatever that may have been, uh, that little piece that they were able to add to the exhibition has been um, a really proud um, part for me. Um, so, so it's it's really all encompassing, really, um, being able to fully to dive into something where Lisan and I had complete autonomy and um, uh, complete curator curatorial rights and having our vision implemented exactly how we wanted it to, I would say has been what is most rewarding because 
there was no there there really is no one that can tell the story that we want to tell other than Lisan and I. And so I would say all of that has been what is, has been the best thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. The highlight for me, uh, and I, I agree with you, as I said before, there's so many, mm-hmm. uh, I think partially, um, the times where we have had through the panels and through the different, you know, events and things that we've had, because those were opportunities where we could actually like have conversations with people and really hear from you know, what their perspectives are and were about the exhibition. I think for me, it was like just celebrating, you know, I had so many <laughs> little, you know, times where we were just like partying or, you know, just dancing as a family and, you know, Emma's running around and our kids are running around and, you know, we're all kind of in that space together and celebrating what we did. Uh, I think for me, those are, you know, some of, you know, my, um, my best moments in this. Um, I'm just looking at some of the things we wanted to make sure that we got in. I, let's do this because we only have a few more minutes, but let's talk a little bit about why LA is the last stop. And I think we kind of hinted at it, but let's, you know, let's just, let's address that. Um, you know, uh, you know, New York, of course, was our first stop, um, for the reasons of, you know, the fact that, um, you know, he, we were born in Brooklyn and New York is where he, uh, his stopping ground and where he got started. Um, he also spent a considerable amount of time in LA um, up until his passing. Um, he found it to be a nice, um, uh, uh, you know, a place that he connected with friends before he went over to Hawaii where he spent a lot of his time as well. Um, so we, thought it was important to include that part um, to the story uh, since this was the intention of this exhibition was to be such a personal story and such a personal experience. Um, But right now we just need to pause and consider what, what would be the best next step. Um, You know, there are quite a bit of other, um, you know, countries that, you know, we'd, we'd love to um, see his work in, but for right now, um, the King Pleasure exhibition, um, you know, the, the paintings miss their, their permanent home and they want to go back. So <laughs> uh, we're going to have them get a rest and um, think about what would be the next, um, the best next step for mm-hmm. continuing his story. Uh, it is absolutely Lisan and, and my goal to preserve Jean-Michel's legacy with as much integrity as possible and to make sure that his works are seen. I remember there um, earlier on, there was a question about whether or not we loan to museums and we absolutely do. We have been for you know, um, you know, 20 years or so. And we will continue to do that. Um, if, the, you know, I, I, I would probably say to you, if there is a museum out there that you think um, should have his work, um, you know, perhaps you can reach out to that museum and say, hey, we'd love to, you know, have some Basquiat works here. And, uh, you know, uh, perhaps they can reach out to us about, you know, uh, about doing a show. Um, but for us, um, we are looking to um, have some some quiet time and to kind of get back to our daily lives and, you know, uh, really think about what our next step is with regards to, to shows and exhibitions from our perspective. Yeah. And- and then the other thing is, you know, Jean-Michel, you all know, Jean-Michel was such a complex dude, you know, and I think that, you know, to come in and do what we did, um, this was never intended to be something that would kind of like, you know, tour the world. It was really intended to be something where we would come in and present these works and allow people the opportunity to uh, to visit and to see the works and to see works that are, you know, had have never been seen before and to get the context. And then we would, you know, do something 
else, you know, find, find another way to celebrate Jean-Michel. So this particular, like whatever we're going to do later on, that's coming. Uh, and we'll figure all that out once we have a chance to rest and, you know, drink some wine and hang <laughs> out and <laughs> do other things. Um, but for right now, this particular exhibition, this is it. And so we're not, you know, fooling around. We really mean it. The last, last, last uh, stop for this uh, King Pleasure exhibition, the last stop for, um, for this is is los angeles and we are closing uh on i think the last day uh, that we're selling tickets is on january 1st and so if you've not yet had the opportunity and i know we we are constantly you know someone just put something in the chat now about you know wanting to go to texas and we're constantly getting people you know requests you know can we be you know can we go to seattle can we go to houston can we go here in the atlanta um, and we appreciate all of that. I, what we'll also say is that this is something that we um, executive produced. Um, yes, team, we're going to talk about beep bop. Give us two seconds. <laughs> we're getting to it. We know. Um, you know, we're constantly being asked to move it around. This is an expensive venture for a lot of reasons. Not just, you know, we're joking around about Zoom calls and all of that, uh, but it's a very expensive venture. We are self-funded for the most part. We've had very generous sponsors, but this is something that we've put on ourselves and, uh, and we just can't move the works all over the country. So for, for Jean-Michel Basquiat King Pleasure, there was New York and now there's the West Coast. So we did the East and the West Coast. So if you were, you were in the Midwest, you had the opportunity to go one of two directions. And, you know, if you are local to the Los Angeles area or plan to be there, um, please do um, get there because what we are trying to avoid, which we know is going to happen, is having a bunch of folks, you know, in February saying, what? We missed it. If you miss it, it's we're sorry. <laughs> you know, do what you can to get there now. Okay, so we have a couple of things coming up that we want to share with you. A couple of you know um, uh, things that are coming up. Jean Michel uh, produced uh, a um, beep bop, which is listed as one of the top 100 hip hop songs of all times. We have taken some. Uh, copies of the test pressing and we are um, doing an auction at uh, Phillips is doing an auction that uh, ends next Friday the 17th no tomorrow mm -hmm. it's, it's, tomorrow Friday this uh, the 17th and uh, the highest bidder the bidder the bidding is open to the public for the number number one of this edition that we um, pulled together and produced uh, uh, um, what am I missing about that? Uh, the bidding is open to the public for the for number one of this edition. There's a certificate that's signed by Janine and myself. Uh, it was actually pulled together uh, by uh, um, someone on our team, uh, Phil, in the retail, uh, in the Emporium. The highest bidder will win a private tour of the exhibition with Janine and myself. 100% uh, of the proceeds for this auction will go to uh, a place called Home, which is a nonprofit organization that provides hundreds of youth in South Los Angeles with access to arts education and the space to nurture their passion for visual arts, music, dance, theater, and filmmaking. So it's a, um, uh, an organization that we feel very proud to uh, provide some support to. So if you're interested in that, uh, bid on that uh, um, number one of that edition, and uh, you would have just a wonderful collectible item, and also you would have um, supported a, a great organization that's doing wonderful things. Uh, uh, we have a couple of other really quick announcements, and then we're going to drop. Uh, be sure to shop the King Pleasure Emporium online this holiday. We have a great uh, Friday sale, a Black Friday sale next Friday, right. and then we are going yeah, Cyber Monday, the following Monday. So be sure to get these incredible items. You know, uh, as you all know, those of you who have come through, it's not your typical gift shop. We wanted everything within this exhibition to be um, to be uh, beautiful. And so uh, 
uh, the, ex the Emporium is beautiful, the exhibition is beautiful, uh, the items that we're selling are really high quality, so get yourself there. Uh, you can also gift tickets to the exhibition. Packages are available. Go online, go to the site, the Boscat King Pleasure site, and you will see information about both the Speed Pop Drop, the um, Emporium and these sales that are coming up, and also the opportunity to gift tickets to the exhibition. I think it's a great way to bring family and friends together to see the, um, the exhibition. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much, everyone, for coming in and and connecting with us for this short half an hour. Um, any other updates, we will definitely jump on a live really quickly. But we just wanted to give you an idea of what exactly what's, you know, what's going on and what you can expect, yeah. um, you know, for the rest of this show. Yeah, before you go really quick, we have, uh, we do have another live stream scheduled. It's next Tuesday, just in a few days. On November 21st, uh, Janine Eileen Gallagher of ISG Productions, the producer of this exhibition. Uh, Janine Eileen and I are going to hop on uh, an IG Live and talk a bit more about this experience. So again, we haven't done this throughout. We're intending to stay really um, connected to you, to you all and to um, answer questions and all of that throughout uh, the, the remaining run of this exhibition, which is just a few weeks. So buy your tickets. I know there are a bunch of questions in here. We'll take a look at them and maybe um, uh, DM us your questions only because we ran out of time. If you can DM us the questions, we'll make sure to answer those questions on the next IG uh, live, which is gonna be next Tuesday. Okay, thank you all for joining. We really appreciate it. Be well, be well, be well. Peace.